later. Like it all it ties is. back in. Like <laughs> it all ties back in. <laughs> what happened to my forest beer? What, what would happen? No, I wanted to drink that one. This is a hazy doppelbock. Sour stout <laughs> double. This is the beer brackets Ouija board, man. Come on, check it out. It does look amazing. <laughs> It's very similar to a beer bracket concept, my friend. You must say goodbye before leaving, or else leave the door to the spirit world open, leaving a chance for the spirits to invade your physical home and presence. Did you? Did you, did you hear that where you were? Let's start with something basic, like, do you like beer? I'm bringing you with me. I'll, I'll drink with you, my friend. Thank you. You're so lucky with your beer. Welcome back to Beer Brackets, everybody, and welcome back to our second annual Halloween <laughs> special. Uh, Sandra, this is the second year in a row that we are celebrating Halloween with our wonderful viewers here. Last year, I don't know if anybody had a chance to go back and watch last year's Halloween special. If you caught it at the time, we had we had a good we had a time. We had an experience last year at Halloween. Experience. This year, we're going to try. <laughs> We're going to open and close our Halloween beer brackets, or at least try and open and close our Halloween beer brackets. My friend, last year, those brackets were left open, and I think there were some serious consequences. I, I think, you know, experience is probably the right word to describe what happened last year, because I don't know how else to, to put it. And at this point, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll definitely see how this goes. Let's start but positive. Let's start positive. Let's really start well. positive. And I'm extremely, extremely excited because I've got a fantastic beer to show you <laughs> to open our Halloween beer brackets with. But as the gentleman that I always am, I will let you get started. What are you opening your Halloween beer brackets with? Thank you so much, my friend. And I, I'm, I'm equally as excited as you are because this is, so to speak, technically not like the most Halloween-like beer, but it, I was so excited when I, when I found it. Like, I, I can't even describe. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Tell me. And, and, tell me. So I, I'll tie it in this way. That this, is, this is so rare that it's almost like a ghost beer. Oh. That's, 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 that's why oh, it's I have it. ghost beer. And this beer, my friend, is the Chimay Barrel what? Aged Grand Reserve. Where did you get that? It was the Where last. Where did you get that beer? It was the last one. Was and the it's, last and one on the shelf? It was the last one on the shelf. It's the oh my God. 275 milliliters. And it's the 2017 edition. What? And apparently, like doing a little bit of digging, they started doing these in 2015. And each year, they're using different barrels to age the Grand Reserve Chimay, like the blue. In 2017, it was a rum barrel. And, and look... Look, and I, I'm not going to keep it too long, but look, look what I found here. This didn't <laughs> came with a find? beer. <laughs> what? This is off their website. Okay. And it's, <laughs> and it's, it's this a rum an edition. letter that you pulled out of a river that was encased <laughs> right? in a bottle. <laughs> it's nice. I thought it would look, fit. Look what I found. <laughs> I wanted to read a couple, a couple of sentences off the, what they say on the website for you because Where, I thought it was... What kind of paper is that? He's, I see like a text. What is that? Like a wavy... <laughs> yeah, is he the... <laughs> is that, it's a is scroll. That, is that ancient parchment paper? It, it is an ancient scroll. I, 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 it's I a can't scroll. say where I, where I found it. Uh, probably in, in a beer river. <laughs> but, 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 but listen to those the scriptures. <laughs> well, first of all, like a couple of technical details. It's 36% French oak, 42% American oak, and 22% rum barrel i assume <sighs> uh, on the nose notes of vanilla marzipan and wood are equally predominant on the palate the woodiness cloaks the bread crust roasting mm, rum aromas God. and 
empyreumatical <sighs> notes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means either. But but it I hope good. I'm reading it. Whatever it is. But it sounds amazing. Like, and, uh, but yeah, a, ba- sounds a balance between roundness and power that will be appreciated wow. at best between six months and a year after its bottling. So, so how long go, has my it friend. been? So six months to a year after its bottled? That's a 2018, you said? Yeah, this is going to be an interesting experience. According to what they say on the website, they this is a beer that goes through three different fermentation, like the regular one, yeah. then it goes into a barrel fermentation, and then a bottle fermentation. So this is, I don't know what to expect, my friend. That looks absolutely fantastic. I'm so jealous. I've never seen anything like that relatively close to that here in Canada. So that is, and Chimay, the Grand Reserve, the blue is my favorite Chimay beer. It's, oh, I don't even know what to say, man. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Congratulations. I think you already won the Halloween beer brackets without before even opening a beer. I have a pretty fantastic, pretty fantastic beer here as well. You know, it's, I love Halloween. I love the autumn season. I know being down in Florida, autumn isn't really, it cools off a little bit for you, right? If it's not, you know, here the leaves are changing color, the days get shorter, the evenings get a little dark right around 6 p.m., 5 p.m. And so I thought, you know, to match the spirit of Halloween, why not get the darkest beer that I can find? And when I think about something that's dark and black, what else comes to mind aside from old engine oil and so my friend i told you that i had procured this wild beer but today i am going to drink it the old <laughs> do 21 year special reserve we've tried two different iterations of the old do beers on the channel before but never the 21 the 21 has been the the rarest of their beers that I never thought that I would get to try, but they made it available here in the LCBOs in Ontario. I got my hands on it, and I cannot wait to crack this open and to try. Of course, the Oladu basically means old engine oil. Translated, this is a brewery from the Harveston Brewery in Scotland, and they make this amazing old engine oil stout that they age in various different barrels to produce these amazing beers that they have and this one in particular is aged in the highland park 21 years casks whiskey casks uh, which is just unbelievable a rare beer that i got my hands on i am so excited to taste it look at these fantastic beers and we both went with barrel aged see same yeah great minds oh man yeah no i really cannot wait what i love about these beers is that it's just, it's got this little tag on it like you saw when you got it, right? And it's got the signature of the head brewer and the definition of pronounced, how to pronounce Oladu, the definition of the beer, and black oil in Gaelic. That's what Oladu, uh, look, it's the key master. No, <laughs> it is, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, oh my God, no, you're right. No, do do not touch our beers. (laughs) Don't. Let's keep it nice. (laughs) Oh, wait. I I know the answer to this question. (laughs) I feel like I've heard this question before. I feel feel like we're prepared. Yeah. (laughs) There's only one right way to answer this question. There's only one way. Our childhoods have prepared us for this question, I think. Yes. Definitely we are. No, No. not the Ola Do. I was waiting so long. I was waiting forever. I was so happy when I got the 21 year. I'm going to wait the taste. Key master, come on. Like, why? The shimei. It's The shimei went away. Your shimei. <laughs> Not the shimei. The shimei what, what and the Oladu. The... Those were two incredible beers that we just lost. What, but actually. What this, would the wizard say? I don't know what the wizard would say. But <laughs> I, I got to tell you, man, this. I know the key master likes to go and replace. I, this wasn't even a macro beer. Like, come on. Like, it's an old Ladu and a Chimay. Chimay? Anyways, come on. The Keymaster seems to like to replace our beers with craft beers. But this, my friend, is quite the interesting craft. What do you, what do you have over there? Ooh, I have actually, uh, this is nice. Like, I, uh, What is so it? So it's a Sierra Nevada. They're Narval. 
which is their Imperial Stout. It's a special edition, a limited edition, uh, and it has like the year here, 2022. It says here, inspired by a mysterious creature that dwells in the deepest Arctic seas, Narval Imperial Stout is midnight oh. black and bold with notes of baker's cocoa and dark roasted coffee. That sounds delicious. So many mysterious creatures in those Arctic seas. So yeah, many. The Arctic is such a mysterious place. Very Halloween-y. It is a little this bit is, Halloween-y, so I'll give the little, key master that. This actually, I, I'm really happy this is the beer that the, the key master decided to, to procure for me today. This is actually from the Waterloo Brewery. Waterloo is a town in Ontario, not that far from where I live now in Hamilton. It's a university town, so there's a big Waterloo University there. And they have this Waterloo Brewery that was actually the first craft brewery in the province of Ontario, here where I live, dating back to 1984. And so this is wow. their dark that I've actually always wanted to try. And it's inspired by a Munich Dunkel. Mm. And I've been really actually curious to find this. You check it, there's a menacing looking pig, almost like the black pig from <laughs> if you've seen if you've seen our top Irish beards for St. Patrick's Day episode, you'll is get the, the black same pig, pig reference. <laughs> it, it is go, a little scary. It's a menacing looking pig. You can see that. It's a wild boar, actually, I should say. And what I love about this brewery is that obviously when you say they're inspired by Munich Dunkels, but they also adhere to the German purity law in a lot of cases. So they stick to four main ingredients, just four main ingredients to create a delicious craft dunk. I'm assuming it's delicious. I haven't tried it yet. We're going to have to give it a try here. I'm a little thrown off. I was really expecting to be able to try that, uh, the Ola Du, my friend, but uh, let's open these craft beers and see what happens. So you know what I was thinking, man? Since last year, we didn't get to close our Halloween beer brackets and all the crazy, insane stuff that happened as a result of that, leaving our beer brackets open. Maybe... And hear me out, hear me out. With this beer, I like maybe we should going. close our Halloween beer brackets from last year instead of opening a new beer bracket. What do you think? I think that's only fitting, my friend. And yes, uh, you know, we've always said it, like, never forget. So never we forget. never forgot. Like, we got to close it. Maybe this will appease the wizard. Maybe, maybe it will. Let's do it. Maybe it will. Should we make this ceremonial? Should we, like, raise it to the beer gods? Or at least to the I attic? I think we should, my friend. I think we should. We should at least raise it to the attic. At least. Okay. Here's to Let's closing close. our 2021 Halloween beer brackets. Ooh, this smells good. That's, wow. This actually looks a lot like the Erdinger Dunkel. Pouring it out. You see this? Like, look at the thick, at really, that. really, really foamy bubbly head that's on it there oh this smells amazing oh yeah, my this has a little God. bit uh, more of a dark i don't know if you can see here on the side but it has a little yeah. bit more of a darker foam <laughs> to it i didn't know sierra nevada made beers of that style that's really sierra nevada is such an amazing brewery like i'm really excited actually to hear how that one is it smells amazing like it has those very deep chocolatey and roasty notes oh. Cheers, man. Let's close our 2021 Halloween beer brackets. Okay. I like this. This is interesting. I actually wish there was like a little bit more on the aroma. Really, really, it's delicious. The aroma on this beer is amazing. You would love it. I know you would love this. Really dark roasted malt. You actually get like a little bit of chocolate on there too on the aroma. And there's some hot presence there on the aroma too. But then on the taste, the taste is actually really calm. There's not much there. You don't get a lot of the roasted mm. malts on the taste. It's actually very similar to the Erdinger Dunkel in that sense, where it's like the aroma hits you really strong up front, and then the taste is really subtle, and it makes it really, this is like really drinkable, I would imagine. You could probably have a couple of these really easily, and it wouldn't tire your palate out. How's that one? How's it tasting? I, I'm very surprised by this one here, my friend, because like at first, like I took, I was 
trying to identify a little bit of the aroma. You definitely taste the chocolate, the, sorry, the dark chocolate, the coffee, a little mm -hmm. bit of roasted element. There was, there was something else that I couldn't pinpoint. Then I took a sip and it has all yeah. those elements, still very light considering that it's a, an imperial stout. When I, when I inhale, uh, it, it has like this uh, this aroma that I couldn't quite pinpoint, but it's almost like walking into it? one of those like Christmas tree uh, shops, like where there's pines, like this resin, yeah. like it, it's very, very particular and it's very subtle, Ooh. but it, it it's pinpoints it like very clearly for me. <laughs> it's incredible. That sounds actually super interesting. I'm fascinated about this beer. This is actually a really, really good craft dunkle. Like none that I've tried before. It's got like this really muted taste the same way the Erdinger does, but then the the finish is where it gets you. So you got a really strong, delicious aroma, a really strong, delicious finish. And the taste is just kind of really smooth and subtle and just guides you into the end of the beer. <laughs> I love it. To the finish. <laughs> this is just, wow. I'm really impressed by this. Waterloo Brewing. Good job. Really nice. It's not an Oladu. I was really looking forward it's to having that Oladu. And Dude, what do you think happens to the beers now when they disappear? What is the key master doing with all their beers? I, I don't know. Like, what, what do you think, like, my friend? Like, did we lost them forever? They might be lost forever. Maybe they're somewhere in the beer universe. Maybe they're up in the beer void. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she's drinking them. Maybe she's off somewhere, sitting in a field, drinking our beers right now, <laughs> drinking your Chimay and drinking my old Adu. Maybe mixing I don't know, them. But this, that's kind of unacceptable. <laughs> mixing them together <laughs> just out of spite just just yeah, screw right. us over just pouring our beers together <laughs> just screw these guys oh. oh there you go everybody we didn't get the drink original beers but i think we had two pretty pretty good craft beers that we got here instead thank you so much for joining us this halloween let us know down below do you have any go-to halloween beers what are those are you trick-or-treating for beers this year are you going door to door <laughs> Knocking on people's doors, asking for beers. <laughs> let us know. I wouldn't recommend it, but if you do it, let us know down below how that turns out for you. Yeah, please. Because <laughs> if it works, we want to know. <laughs> <laughs> beer trick or treating. Tr trick or beer. Trick or beer. Go. We should start that tradition. <laughs> we should. We should start the trick or beer tradition. I, I don't know. Could it could end pretty badly? But maybe, maybe we'll consider it. We'll, we'll consider see. It. But if anybody tries it and, and it works, let us know. <laughs> we will let you at home try it, and then let us know how it goes. Exactly. Knock on all your neighbors' doors, trick or beer, and see what happens. <laughs> Film it. Film it and let us know. Post it. <laughs> Please do. <Post> it. <laughs> but don't don't forget to close your beer brackets. It's don't. bad, like, Dude, as you've seen. <laughs> Take it from us. Take it from us. Do not forget to close your Halloween beer brackets. Cheers, everybody. See you next time. You're being troubled by strange noises in the middle of your beer bracket session. Ever have feelings of dread or missing beers in your beer cellar or attic? Have you or any of your beer buddies seen a beer spirit or been sucked in the beer void? The answer is yes. Don't wait another minute. We are ready to believe you.